Thank you. If I may uh, defy your request right at the outset and uh, perhaps start with the one topic that's been on every newspaper headline uh, across the world these past two days is the state of the relationship between the United States and Israel. Um, there have been uh, a number of revelations in recent weeks, the leaked South African diplomatic cables. Um, more recently, former head of Mossad, Maid Dagan, has spoken out uh, on Iran. Uh, what what is what is Israel's position on the unfolding um, nuclear deal that seems to be imminent with Iran, and what are your concerns? If the P five plus one, after all, underwrite a nuclear agreement, and, and the global community is secure with it, what what are Israel's concerns? Um, you have mentioned the relationship between uh, Israel uh, and the United States, or between the United States and Israel. Uh, I think the bond that uh, bonds the United States <coughs> and Israel uh, is a very strong one. Uh, it is manifested um, in all areas and all disciplines on a day-to-day -day basis. And you name the area, and I will show you how strong those relations. This is something that is unbreakable, untouchable, uh, and I wouldn't uh, worry about this at all. It's too strongly embedded in the values, in the democracies, uh, in both democracies, in the values, in the history, and in the um, recognition of where uh, both uh, people uh, and where the free world should be going to. I, there is no doubt about that. There is a discussion. There is a discussion on uh, how to deal uh, um, with, uh, with the uh, Iranian threat. And when I mentioned a threat before, I wanted to pinpoint especially on the Iranian threat being a threat not only to Israel. Israel finds itself and it has done so throughout history, uh, was compelled to do so history, throughout history. Israel has been uh, compelled to uh, be the one country in many uh, instances who is uh, being uh, testing new areas, new challenges. Uh, the, Israel was the first country that was really attacked in this phenomenon that we have seen throughout the years, which is called international terrorism. This is not to say that Israel is the only victim of international terrorism, but we, we were really the first one to be attacked. The first hijacking of an airplane, the first uh, attack on a school bus, uh, children's school bus, the first attack on a, uh, on, on, on a terrorist attack on, on, on a building, on a Jewish community center, on an embassy. We have been on the forefront of a new way to do business by those who think that if they cannot get it in a conventional way, they will do it in an unconventional way, and terrorism is an uncon unconventional way. Iran is a country that is posing a threat to a whole region, and I would even dare say to the world. Iran is a country and I'm not talking about the country so much as in as much as I'm talking about the Iranian regime that is ruling the country for uh, so many years. Uh, 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 I would say it's a, it, it, Iran is a rogue, re, rogue regime with rogue activities. Iran is a country that is engaged in international terrorism. And I can tell you, as someone who has personally witnessed the Iranian terrorism when Iran, through its proxies, through a planning by Iran, and we know exactly, a pl planned by Iran, attacked and destroyed the Israeli embassy in Buenos Aires. I was there, and I know. New Delhi has seen an attack perpetrated by Iran. There's no doubt about that. And in between those two dates, 1992 and 2012, Iran has been active in international terrorism in many areas and many geographical areas. Iran is trying to expand its presence 
in so many areas uh, of our region in various ways. Iran is supporting Hamas in Gaza. Iran, through its uh, El Quds uh, force, supporting Hezbollah terrorist organization in, in Lebanon. We have encountered Iran on the Golan Heights. What is Iran doing on the Golan Heights? I'm asking the questions, but I know the answer. Iran is practically on our borders. We have a border with Lebanon, with Syria and the Golan Heights, with Jordan, with Egypt, with both we, we enjoy a, a peace treaty. But Iran is trying to, to be on our borders. What does this mean? Uh, it's not only my opinion, it's a matter of fact. And I think that uh, you have uh, maybe uh, did not hear uh, both uh, the president and our prime minister uh, and uh, the ambassador of the United States to the United Nations and the head of the National Security Council talking on the particular important, crucial issue of Iran and the negotiations on the one hand, but they also spoke about the depth and the strength and the appreciation and the thanks that uh, uh, um, Israel has uh, when it looks at the overall relations. So what happened, happened, and we know there is a discussion. And I think that uh, our prime minister also described this as a discussion between members of the same family. And sometimes within a family there is, there is a discussion. But if you, long, if you look at the long range of our relationship, the relationship are strong, sound, and they will continue being so.